हॅलो आय एम रोहिणी ठोंबरे लेक्चरर कम्प्युटर टेक्नॉलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट के के वॉक पॉलिटेक्निक नाशिक आय वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू इन दिस कोर्स फंडामेंटल ऑफ आय सी टी इन दिस व्हिडिओ यू विल लर्न अबाउट द इंटरनल कम्पोनंट्स ऑफ कम्प्युटर सिस्टीम द कम्प्युटर ॲज अ मशीन कन्सिस्ट ऑफ डिफरंट कम्पोनंट्स दॅट इंटरॅक्ट विथ ईच अदर टू प्रोव्हाइड द डिझायर्ड फंक्शनॅलिटी ऑफ द कम्प्युटर ॲज अ युजर ऑफ कम्प्युटर वी नीड टू बी अवेअर ऑफ द मेन कम्पोनंट ऑफ कम्प्युटर देअर फंक्शन्स अँड द इंटरकनेक्शन बिट्वीन द डिफरंट कम्पोनंट्स ऑफ द कम्प्युटर द कम्प्युटर कॅबिनेट इन्क्लोजेस द कम्पोनंट्स दॅट आर रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द रनिंग ऑफ द कम्प्युटर The components inside a computer cabinet includes power supply, motherboard, memory chips, expansion slot, ports and interface, processor, cables and storage devices. Now, let us begin with each and every different internal components of computer. The first main computer is motherboard. The computer is built up around a motherboard. The motherboard is the computer's main circuit board. It is a large printed circuit board PCB having many chips, connectors and other electronics mounted on it. <coughs> the motherboard is the hub which is used to connect all the essential components of a computer. The RAM, hard drive, disk drives and optical drives are all plugged into interface on the on the motherboard the motherboard contains the processor memory chips interfaces and sockets the next important component is cpu central processing unit also called as a processor it is located inside the computer case on the motherboard it is also called as brain of computer and its job is to carry out commands The CPU is usually a 2 inch ceramic square with a silicon chip located inside. The chip is usually about the size of thumbnail. The CPU fits into the motherboard CPU socket which is covered by the heat sink an object that absorb heat from the CPU. The processor speed is measured in megahertz or millions of instruction per second. and gigahertz or billions of instruction per second random access memory is another one internal component of computer ram is system's short term memory whenever your computer performs calculation it temporarily stores the data in the ram until it is needed this short term memory disappears when the computer is turned off If you are working on a document, spreadsheet or other type of file, you will need to save it to avoid losing it. RAM is measured in megabytes or gigabytes. The next important component is hard disk drive. The hard drive is where your software, documents and other files are stored. The hard drive is long term storage, which means The data is still saved even if you turn off your computer or you unplug your computer. When you run a program or open a file, compu- the computer copies some of the data from the hard drive onto the RAM. When you save a file, the data is copied back to the hard drive. The next unit is power supply unit. The power supply unit in a computer converts the power from the wall outlet to the type of power needed by the computer it sends power through cable to the motherboard and other components the next one is expansion slot the expansion slots are located on the motherboard the expansion card are inserted in the expansion slot These cards give the computer new feature or increased performance. These are sometimes called PCI that is peripheral component interconnect card. 
you may never need to add any PCI cards because most motherboards have built-in video, sound, network and other capabilities. Network Interface Card The network card allows your computer to communicate over a network and access the internet. It can either connect with an Ethernet cable or through a wireless connection, often called as a Wi-Fi. Many motherboards have built-in network connections and a network card can also be added to an expansion slot. The next component is video card. The video card is responsible for what you see on the monitor. Most computers have a GPU that is graphics processing unit built into the motherboard instead of having a separate video card. If you like playing graphics intensive games, you can add a faster video card to one of the expansion slot to get better performance. Sound card. The sound card, also called as audio card, is responsible for what you hear in the speaker or headphones. Most motherboard have integrated sound but you can upgrade to a dedicated sound card for higher quality sounds. This is what all about the internal components of computer. Thanks for watching.